Hey everyone, it's Will Sweeney. Today I'm going to show you how to add a tie-dye effect or tie-dye pattern to your graphics in Merge by Amazon. And so let me get started. As you see, I already have ATX um, typed out and it's my layer in my, under my layer menu. And ATX is just a slang term for those who don't know for Austin, Texas. Um, so there's a couple ways of doing this tie-dye pattern to your graphics. You can right click the layer and go up to blending options and click gradient overlay and um, it's already in so let me explain this real fast as you can see it's already selected the tie-dye effect but what I'm gonna do is actually scroll up to linear and then go to color harmonies 1 and click OK so color harmonies one is your default gradient under your gradient um, selections and so I'm just going to click the orange and blue and this is typically again what you would see um, in your in your window um, I already had this selected because I've been working on a personal project of mine and that just so ha it just pops up every single time I do this um, or every single time I you know do a gradient overlay to a graphic um, or a word graphic for that matter for a t-shirt so what I'm going to do is go down to spectrums and spectrums will be your you know, your rainbow colors your tie-dye like um, gradient overlay so I'm going to click this and click linear and go all the way down to diamond. And diamond will be the stereotypical tie-dye or tie-dye pattern effect. And under angle, 167 is good. Don't You can mess around with this if you want. And I'll just show you what happens. So, you know, it just... For me, 167 is ideal um, place for this uh, overlay. Now I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna hit Control Z, and it'll go back to white. And the other way of doing this is just hitting the um, add layer style on the F X option, and clicking up or going up to gradient overlay and then there again and so as you see we're back to the same window that I was in um, before and the last thing I want to show you is how to custom your um, design so just click once on the gradient and this will allow you to edit so as you can see um, you know, moving to the right will go more inner to your graphic. Moving to the left will go outer. So left is outer and right is inner. Um, and I wouldn't mess with any of this stuff because foreground is white, background is black, and it's just going to add black and white to your um, graphic or your gradient, and you don't want that. So I'm going to just click Use Color, or actually, I'm going to do Control Z. And I'll just go back to what the last color you were um, selected on, and then again, just mess around and just you know, do what you know. Use your um, artistic intuition to find what makes you happy. And so I'm liking that. I'm just gonna press OK, and I'm gonna hit OK one more time, and then I'm going to go to fit screen. And that's really about it. And so that was just a quick tutorial of how to add a um, tie-dye gradient overlay to your graphics or your t-shirt designs. So thank you and have a great day.